Number 25. How long does it take a child on a swing to complete one swing if her center of gravity is four meters below the pivot? All right, so this problem is actually straightforward. However, the way that the problem is presented, it makes it a little harder. What we need to do is take, basically reword what this problem is telling us, okay? So when it says, how long does it take the child on a swing to complete one swing? You have to reinterpret that as one of the physics variables over here on the left-hand side in the equations. And if you've been viewing some of the prior videos, this should be hopefully clear at this point that the time for one complete swing is known as the period. I mean, that's what it is, okay? The, the period is the time it takes for one cycle, whether the cycle is an oscillation, whether it's a swing of a pendulum, whether it's a wavelength, right? All of these things are the same. So basically now, I the, the problem is asking me what's the period. That that's that's how I can restate that. So what's the period? And then it says if the center of gravity is four meters below the pivot point, hmm, right? Hmm. Here's a pendulum. And here's the pic here's a picture. That red line represents the length of the pendulum. Okay. Now pendulums do this, right? They swing back and forth. We right, they swing back and forth. Okay. Now what they tell us is that the center of gravity, basically of this child, is going to be four meters below the pivot point. So essentially, I they're telling me that, like let's assume that this is the center of gravity of the child, the child, you know, on the swing here or something, you know, their center of gravity, whatever. Um, I can assume now that the length then of the pendulum's arm is equivalent to the length of the center of gravity below the pivot, right? Here's the pivot point. Center of gravity is located at the end here of the uh, arm and then it's going to go wee all right so um we know now the length this we reinterpret this as they told us the length of the pendulum's arm so notice how now simple this problem is imagine restating the problem and saying what's the period of a pendulum if the length of the pendulum's arm is four meters i mean that's so simple now right because we know we can use this formula over here that the period of a pendulum's oscillation is going to be equal to two pi times the square root of the length of that pendulum's arm divided by g. All we got to do is plug it in. The hard part about a problem like this is reinterpreting the problem to try to try to fr frame it in a way that makes a little more sense, a little more physics sense, a little more sense with the variables in some of the formulas. All right, so the length here, not to belabor the point, is 4 divided by 9.8. And all we now simply have to do, look at how easy the formula is, right? It's hard, though, to interpret it. But that's where the practice comes in. There's no shortcut for that, all right? So 2 pi multiplied then by the square root of 4 divided by 9.8. And this is going to be 4, 4.01. And that's going to be in terms of seconds. So that's how long it takes for one swing. Guys, thank you very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.